a myriad of things. I mean, the, you know, first and foremost, you know, the project lives and dies by the director. Um, and Peter Chelsom, I felt, had not only done a very beautiful adaptation of this book, but he had the sort of spirit that the material needed. Um, he had that sort of magical realism quality that he was going to bring to it, a sort of, and he, Peter as a man, has that sort of childish exuberance for the world, which obviously Hector the character has, and was a way in which we could approach this subject without it seeming cloying or preachy, or it, it would have a freshness, I felt. Um, and the material and the character spoke to me, I guess. <laughs>
guts, and it, it's it's a very um, it's a very sort of chemical thing for me. I think it's a, it's you know it's it'd be a, it'll be a, a, a rush of a surge of of something wonderful, and that can happen, you know, just being quiet and contained at home with my family. It can be you know being fulfilled in my work. It can be excitement, anticipation at an adventure. It can be being out on a cliff being swept by the wind it can be all kinds of things um, but you've sort of got to be in the right place to let those things come to you you know if you're bound up which we all are at certain times by stress or um, anxiety or whatever then you know you're not so receptive to happiness or all the all the um, the things that can bring you happiness <laughs>